Uh, this video today is to uh, give you some rather interesting questions to ask yourself about the um, the, month, the phenomena called uh, crop circles. These have been seen since around 1978, 1977, all over the world, in fact. And uh, in looking over some things that I have uh, researched about uh, Ronald Reagan's plan for what was called Star Wars, which is the Strategic Defense Initiative, uh, I have found that uh, the primary part of SDI, and that's what its pseudonym is, they use lasers to actually send these projectiles or energy towards mirrors that are in space, and then they would actually be positioned to actually uh, intercept nuclear ICBM missiles. And this technology, although now it's pretty much obsolete compared to what probably the government has up there now, the National Security Administration certainly probably can still use that same technology to uh, to do anti-missile programs even now. So the reason for the video is to show you the fact that the government has laser technology in orbit that goes as far back as 1980 when Ronald Reagan instigated SDI. And they're using these lasers of different kinds. Some are chemical, some are actual, you know, laser light to create these circular patterns on Earth. Now, I can honestly say this. These symmetrical patterns cannot be created other than by a computer something that has a high intelligence that can create them in such a way, because a human being cannot do this. A human being cannot create the kinds of crop circles that I have seen on Earth. Some are easy and simple, and maybe those were <laughs> hoaxed by people. And I agree some of them were, but most of them are just so large that there's no way they could have made them from our position here on Earth. I mean, you'd have to do you'd have to do them from from space because you couldn't see the entire canvas. That's like an artist drawing a picture, and he has to have his face on the canvas. You cannot do a pattern or a painting unless you have the entire canvas in front of you. You know, in other words, seeing the big picture, then you can actually create it. Well, that's how NASA has pretty much given itself away, or the NSA by making these patterns so humongous on the surface of the earth that there's no other way to explain how they were created except that it was done from a satellite. Now in my video I'm showing you various things that emphasize how these satellites are already in orbit. I mean there's there's thousands of them and how they keep them in orbit that close to each other without colliding is uh, anyone's guess but some or most of what you see are probably GPS satellites these are the ones that give people precise locations on earth but they can't just be for that global positioning uh, systems have to have some other reason for being up there too they can't just be there for people to identify where they're going but you see GPS is another way of the NSA using technology to keep track of where you are too so you can't say that it's sending a signal to you and it doesn't know who's getting that signal it has to have a way of doing that but back in the 80s when ronald reagan started up sdi there was no internet there was no technology there at that time for the nsa to use in order to track everybody so you probably had these eggheads who were sitting at these monitors and computers and thinking, well, what are we going to do with these things until we can figure out how to really use them to their full potential? And so the generals probably said, well, let's, let's create a program of geometric shapes, and we'll try and see if whether we can burn these things into pasture lands, you know, of just people making crops or, you know, uh, growing them. Let's see if whether or not it's as accurate as we think they are. And so that's what they've been doing since 1980. They've been doing these crop circles inadvertently, kind of like. 
Now, here's, here's another question mark for you who are crop circle fanatics. Why is it that these things appear like the next day and you got these freaks who are fanatics on crop circles. They got their cameras out there all night. You don't see anything and all of a sudden it just appears. I got an answer for you. Infrared. Infrared is an invisible light and yeah, cameras can pick up infrared, but there's other ways that laser light can be created and the government knows. And uh, they can be doing this stuff all the time and you'd be visibly you'd be looking out there at that at that field and it never shows up and that's why because they have the ability to create these 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 geometric patterns with all kinds of different light sources that lasers can make and you'll never see it i don't know if any of the scientists who have done spectral analysis soil analysis on these these crop circle areas did they take into account radiation from laser laser sources if they did then maybe they got kind of wind on what the government's been doing then the government stepped in and said hey this, this is a high national security issue we can't talk about this and we don't want you to say anything either some videos that i've seen have said that they videotaped crop circles being created but that they couldn't discuss it because the analysis had, had not been completed yet what does that mean means the government came forward and says, okay, you guys caught us red-handed. You saw us making these things with our satellites, but we can't allow you to say anything about that. And that was at the time when crop circles were very predominantly being seen all over the world. Uh, and it was still before the Internet started. So crop circles, in more ways than one, are obvious government tests using the satellites in orbit using laser light to test out their accuracy on potential nuclear threats and uh, indirectly it's a waste of government money because it's proving they don't have enough to do so they have to make these little patterns as tests to prove whether or not the system is actually up to par up to standards what they created it for and that's really the only thing that I can say about why would the government do it? They waste our money anyway. You know that. So there's nothing else I can do other than to play games, create images on Earth, prove to everybody that, hey, you know, there's no aliens, but we're not going to tell you that it's us because we don't want you to think we're wasting your, your taxes by doing these. So... And basically, in a word, it is crop circles are just our government playing with our tax money and using the obvious technology that's up there, which they can't discuss because of national security. And now they've pretty much given themselves away. So thanks for watching this video, and I hope it's been enlightening to you.